good eye. This is the latest sports car on the market. Sleek, luxurious, if you're not driving this car, you're living in the past, pal. It looks pretty sweet. Does it come in a hybrid model, too? Hydrogen, hybrid, electric, whatever you want. The future is now. Hmm. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? <gasps> wow! Thanks, but I think I'm gonna shop around a little more. Wait, I can give you a great deal on a recently acquired station wagon. <laughs> Megan, you've been in there over an hour. And there's no way you're convincing me to go to school in my pajamas again. It's way too embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, remember Dad's rule. There's a 15-minute time limit for morning bathroom use. Yeah, 15 minutes for boys. Girls get unlimited bathroom time. What? Since when is that part of the rule? Since, unlike boys, girls actually practice complete body hygiene. In fact, I think I can smell your dirty ears from here, Tony. Hmm? Not so fast, dude. If you want to hit the locker room, you're going to have to take a number like the rest of us. I'm not waiting to use the bathroom, Lee. I have bigger things on my mind. Huh? You mean you finally found a way to fix the hole in the ozone layer? Actually, I'm still working on that one. Right now, I'm trying to find a nice restaurant to take Mom and Dad to for their 15-year wedding anniversary. Oh, please. Who cares about that boring grown-up stuff? For once, I agree with Lee. You're really off base on this one, Mark. Mom and Dad don't want to be reminded of how old they are. Lamesville, bro. Get back to me when you get a clue. If you'll excuse me! Hey, I'm not done in there! I still need to fluff and buff! Well, you guys can feel free to ignore their anniversary. Don't worry, I'll pick up the slack. Tony! Honey, are they playing? Our song? I think they are! <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is they've always treated us great on our birthdays. Yeah, because they have to. It's like a parent's job. And it's a kid's job to get spoiled with athletic gear and sports jerseys. Is it me, or is there something fishy going on with him? He seems a little too eager to celebrate this dumb anniversary. Did you finish the graphs for my research paper? I'm almost done with the text. Here you go, Master. Awesome. Now, would you mind grabbing us a couple of smoothies? Here you go, Master. Happy birthday to me. Let's see, where would they keep the anniversary party planning books? <laughs> Hey, sis, what's happening? More like what's not happening. I came here to research a term paper, but the computer system's all random and fritzy. Way <gasps> retro. Is this some kind of prank? Someone replaced the school's cutting-edge computers with ancient clunky computers. There's no mouse or internet or even email. I gotta tell Lee and Tony about this. Knowing those jokers, they might even be behind it. Hmm. Mine's dead, too. Mom probably forgot to pay the bill again. Hey, guys, do you read me? Read you? No, but I can hear you just fine. I take it your cell phones are down, too, just like everyone else's? This doesn't make any sense. That would mean that several cell phone carriers are down all at once. I guess we need to go into spy mode and see what's causing it. Tell you what, Mark and I will check out the nearest cell phone antenna, and maybe you guys can check out... A TV station in England that's been sabotaged. I'm aware of all these global communication breakdowns, the consequences of which could be catastrophic. We're on it, Jerry. But what about gadgets? Look around. They're close at hand. I also tucked a special experimental gadget from the Whoop Lab into the mix. Enjoy. Close at hand? What does he mean by that? Looks like we've got a virtual whoop dingy thingy and the bungee grip grabber. If I knew what those were, I'm sure I'd think they were cool. Anyway, let's hit it. Later, guys. What about our gadgets? Huh, I wonder. G for gadget, perhaps? Awesome! We've got the close shave rogue wave and the invisibility pillity. Wow! Just swallow to activate invisibility function. That's like being a superhero. More like superhero et. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone got to it, all right. But what kind of person would want to mess up a phone tower? A person with no friends, no doubt. Let's see if I can spot any clues. Hey, 
see. There's a weird object near the top, but I can't make out what it is. Uh, I was afraid you were going to say that. Check it out. This place is more thrashed than I am after a football game. Come on, we better get inside and see if anyone's hurt. Looks like the workers probably all bailed when the place got attacked. Either that or they were way sick of the shows the station was airing. Hey, isn't this that really old show, The Beautiful Bold Boys and Bells of Bel Air? Yeah, and look at the lame picture quality in that prehistoric cassette player. Weird. Why would a first-run TV station be running retro junk like this? I think there's someone else in here. It came from this direction. Yeah! Ow! Someone or something troll size just use our shins for karate practice. He's hurling toward the pavement! Is it just me, or does this look like a blonde dreadlock? Gross, you're right! I wonder who would wear this? <sighs> Come on, we can't let him get away! I think this calls for a gadget, like the bungee grip grabber! Uh, hey, bro, can I get some help here? Look out it coming! Okay, normally this would seem rad, but I have a feeling it's gonna end badly. I hate it when they get away. Especially when they're shorter than I am. Hey, now my MP com won't even work. I can't call Jerry. How are we gonna get home? Ah! <laughs> oh, oh. Jerry, we're completely spent. After our mission, we couldn't get a hold of you, so we had to take the bus back. And let me tell you, it's not nearly as nice as flying Whoop class. <laughs> so sorry, but all of Whoop's GPS email systems and communication satellites are down. The situation is getting dire. We need to figure out who would want to perpetrate such a plan. But how can we do our spy jobs without any communication system? We'll have to manage somehow. It reminds me of running Whoop back in the 90s before any of those things existed. Do we still have the capability to analyze clues? Because we have a weird one. Follow me to my personal lab. We'll crack this case before things get completely out of hand. Wow. Let's see if we can get a DNA read from this nasty piece of hair chunk. There's the DNA. Now let's see if we can find a match in the database. Looks like it's a close match for someone named Boogie Gus. Do you know anything about this dude, Jerry? Indeed I do. He's a criminal who is up against my Beverly Hills Spy Girls several times. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go round him up. By the way, you should have called us instead of using some lame Beverly Hills agents. Actually, those lame Beverly Hills agents caught him. Behold. He's been in our custody for quite some time now. Something's seriously wrong here. If that guy's in his cell, he couldn't have committed those acts of sabotage. And what are the chances of two people on the planet having such close DNA? I'm as much at a loss as you are. Perhaps you should head home before your parents get back. I'll keep you on standby. We need to get to the bottom of this. Guys, we've been here forever. We're never gonna find this weirdo. Don't worry, Megan. I'm sure another clue will turn up. Yeah, and if not, I can always buy one for you. Guys, as stimulating as this conversation is, this is my stop. I just remembered, I wanted to get an anniversary present for Mom and Dad. Oh, that again? Be sure to have it wrapped with pretty bows and ribbons. Yeah, and don't forget a sappy card. Actually, I want to come with you. That's the spirit, Tony. I could use some help picking something out for them. Not to help you, to check out the latest video game systems. <laughs> Hey, you think Mom and Dad would be into the new Rage Cube 3000 video game system? Here you go, Master. Yeah, I don't know. Sure, why not? Here you go, Master. Oh. Hey, what happened to all the good stuff? Did
Did this place just turn into a flea market? Weird. All this stuff looks exactly like Mom and Dad's old junk. We better see if whoever did this is still outside. We miss them, which makes me a two-time spy loser today. Attention, all shoppers. The store is about to close. Well, if I don't grab Mom and Dad something now, I'll miss my opportunity. I hope this is something good. Hey, guys, you're not going to believe what just happened at the store. Well, let me guess. You and Nerdy Bro were robot shopping? What? Robot shopping? Don't be ridiculous. Forget the store. What's going on out there? It looks like chaos. The high-tech traffic signals have been replaced with outdated equipment. That was fast. We were just out there and everything was okay. Luckily, Mom and Dad are safe at work. But how are we going to get to Whoop to tell Jerry? Uh, dude, what is that? Hello, spies. Please, enter the mailbox. There's no time to lose. Whoa. 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 What's the emergency, Jer? Sorry about the mailbox transport. That's how we used to whoop our agents in the old days. Now, permission. Wait, what's this thing you're wearing, Jerry? Someone removed all the contemporary clothing from my apartment, leaving only my outfit from when I managed boys' bands in what? the 90s. Yeah, uh, too bad we don't have time for you to elaborate. If you're referring to the chaos on the streets, I'm well aware of it, which is why I brought you back. Observe. Weird. Why is he tapping on that pipe? It's like he's sending Morse code messages to someone. It's more sophisticated than Morse code. We're not sure to whom he's sending it, but I guess it's whomever's behind these disturbances. I know an easy way to find out who his contact is. Let him lead us to him. Hmm. Open the cell door and let him walk out. We can follow him at a distance and see where he goes. It's so simple, it just might work. Let's break into two teams and follow this creep. Tony and I will take the jet. You two follow him closely on foot. You'll have to retain visual contact. All of our communication systems are still down. Aye, aye, sir. Looks like there's still a few kinks Jerry needs to work out of that gadget. Come on, Mark. We can't lose track of this guy. <gasps> Let's hope there's no kinks in the virtual whoop dingy thingy. <clears throat> nice! All aboard! <laughs> yeah. Mark, Megan, come in! No use. Looks like they're following in a boat now. Try and get lower so I can keep an eye on them. I'll try, but the fog bank over the water is making it tough. <gasps> hey, pick up the pace, Mark. He's starting to pull away. You got it, Captain Megan. I can't find him. The fog's as thick as a cheesecake at Thanksgiving. Mark, we're losing him in the fog. Correction, we lost him. Nonsense. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Help! Help! Help us! <laughs> Ahoy, matey! Gus Junior, I thought I'd never see my son again. Lay it on me, baby boy. Daddy! Oh. Oh. <laughs> right on. 
I found these snoopers along the way. They're too young to be whoop agents, but I didn't want to take a chance. <laughs> too young to be agents? Hello, did you look at this little half pint crook? Fine, then we'll just get rid of you nasty mini spies. You're right, Dad. Sooner we get rid of them, the sooner we can complete my plan. So what exactly is your plan? I'm not quite feeling it or understanding it. It's simple. I was born in the best decade ever, the 90s. So now I'm returning the world back to the way it was then. Entertainment, transportation, communication, fashion. We're turning the clock back on it all. Not as far as I like, but it's a start. And my dad's responsible for the device which swaps the new stuff with my awesome old stuff. Imagine what a trio that would be. <laughs> hey, where'd that girl go? Oh. <gasps> Oops. Power of invisibility? We never had that in the 90s. I don't like it. These people need to go. Oh. <clears throat> Enough messing around. <laughs> We better buckle up if we're gonna use that one. Time to finish my mission for once and for all. until Whoop disposes of it properly. Excellent work, spies. Whoop agents are restoring the Earth's technology as we speak, and both of the Gusses are in a secure place. I'm just happy you're not wearing that ridiculous outfit anymore, Jerry. Well, I rather liked it. Anyway, don't forget your parents' anniversary. I hope you plan something nice for them. Ciao! Oh, good thing he reminded me. I need to give the parentals their gift. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. This is just a little token of my appreciation for being such great parents. Huh? Mark, you are so thoughtful. A lovely gift. You didn't have to. Ha, <laughs> you'd do the same for me. For example, you might get me something extra cool for my upcoming birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. Huh? But my birthday's not for months. We happened to find the perfect gift for you, so we decided to snatch it early. Open it. <gasps> Here you go, Master. 
Wow, look at that! A robot! Your mother and I were gonna get you one for your birthday, but since you have this one... Uh, it's not too late. Two robots would be cool. <laughs> Nonsense. We can get you something you need, like socks and underwear. Ooh. Cal, look! Mark <laughs> got us a record player! <laughs> Don't be shy, kids. Join in! Did you have to get them such an embarrassing gift? 